new crew safely aboard the space station, a launch update on another space station mission, and an international agreement on Artemis. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. NASA's Kate Rubens is safely aboard the International Space Station. She and Expedition 64 crewmates Sergei Rizikov and Sergei Kutsverchkov, both of Roscosmos, were greeted by our Chris Cassidy and others aboard the orbital outpost on October 14th, just hours after launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. NASA's SpaceX Crew-1 mission to the International Space Station is now targeted for no sooner than early to mid-November. This will give SpaceX more time to evaluate some issues observed during a recent non-NASA launch of its Falcon 9 rocket. The mission will be the first commercial crew rotational flight to the station with the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft. During a virtual meeting of the International Astronautical Congress on October 13th, NASA and seven partner countries signed the Artemis Accords Agreement for international participation in our Artemis program, which includes sending the first woman and next man to the moon in 2024. The principles described in the Artemis Accords are what will create a bright and prosperous future that we all want for ourselves and for generations to come. These principles are grounded in the Outer Space Treaty. The founding members of the Artemis Accords are Australia, Canada, Italy, Japan, Luxembourg, the United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, and the U.S. The OSIRIS-REx team's first touch-and-go sample collection attempt with asteroid Bennu is targeted for October 20th. OREx is attempting to be the first ever NASA spacecraft to collect a sample of an asteroid and send it back to Earth for study. On October 14th, NASA announced the latest partnerships with space tech companies through a tipping point solicitation to develop commercial space capabilities and to benefit future NASA missions. The agency also provided an update on space tech efforts to enable human and robotic exploration on the moon and future operations on Mars. Learn more at nasa.gov slash moon to Mars. A NASA-developed sensor suite that could help robotic and crewed missions make precise soft landings on the moon was launched aboard a Blue Origin New Shepard suborbital rocket on October 13th. The rocket's flight path provided a unique opportunity to further develop the sensors and algorithms for potential use on Artemis missions. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.